Ladies and gentlemen, in a country where obesity runs rampant, isn't it rather ironic that somebody who calls themselves the chiseled Adonis happens to have a sibling who is indeed unchiseled? That is why we call him the unchiseled Adonis. And more importantly, today, or I should say yesterday on the 22nd of September, we had the 29th birthday of the un- Chiseled Adonis. And six months ago, I stood right here and I told you guys, we are delivering the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis. What is the goal behind the series? Well, we would go 18 months. We would chronicle his journey, that is the unchiseled Adonis, from being unchiseled to becoming slightly less unchiseled. Possibly another chiseled Adonis. He may not have the charisma, but he may possibly have the shape. And here we are, six months later, and it's about the time to deliver what the people have been waiting for. And we must bring forth the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis. Pardon me, but I would be remiss if I did not introduce you to exactly who the unchiseled Adonis is. See, he was born on a warm evening back on the first day of autumn, September 22nd, 1990. A very young, joyous, energetic child, as I was told by the patriarch and the matriarch of the Adonis family. Now, contrary to popular belief, the unchiseled Adonis was not always unchiseled. Throughout his years in elementary school, going into junior high, he's always been slightly larger larger than his counterparts and classmates, but never so large to the point it could be categorized as elephantine, rotund, and gargantuan. By no means was he an athlete, but he did find a way to do athletic things. You see, the unchiseled Adonis had dreams and aspirations of starting quarterback for his high school football team, the Abraham Lincoln Rail Splitters. However, he quit the football team on the very first day of his freshman year during Hell Week. You see, there was something going going on with his heart, but I say it was something with his spirit. He simply could not find the strength and the desire and passion to go after his football dreams, but perhaps it was a different sport that caught his eye. You see, despite his size, the unchiseled Adonis was extremely deceptive in the sport of basketball. He had the court vision of a Jason Kidd, but the size of a Glenn Big Baby Davis. He was one of those point guards who could have meshed well in the and one mixtape. However, his sheer laziness prevented him from going anywhere in the sport of basketball. You see, I would nag him every single day for four consecutive years of his high school days to go and try out for his basketball team, the Abraham Lincoln Rail Splitters, the exact same team that produced Stephon Marbury, Sebastian Telfair, and Lance Stevenson. But much to my chagrin, the unchiseled Adonis would never put forth the effort to ever go and get that physical to try out. Until this day, he continually talks about how he would have been able to make that team. Well, guess what? You could have tried out, dummy! But we're not talking about that right now. But he would still keep that passion passion for basketball burning inside of his soul and he would go on to coach his church basketball team and on the third season of his coaching he would lead the varsity to a 10 and 0 record and win the church their very first championship for their varsity basketball team and the very next year he would take over the junior varsity and lead them to an undefeated championship season as well he'd be named coach of the year and he'd ride this high for 36 consecutive months but suddenly in early 2017 tragedy would strike as he'd be diagnosed with a severe case of pneumonia and for the first time in his adult life he'd be held in a hospital and things would begin to diminish from there he would begin to lose hope as he thought his life would end on numerous occasions whether it was being ignored from the nurses or the constant numbness in his body or hearing every single day that things are getting worse he began to give up hope yeah, I was already do it. Uh, I miss all you guys. Um, very traumatic experience. Almost died, but I should be back soon. But there was a guiding light. The pneumonia was now in remission, and after one week, he would finally be released from the hospital. Hey, man. I'm better. I'm, I'm free. I'm happy I'm free. 
And after everything that he went through, every peak and valley, every trial and tribulation, every single roadblock, climbing up the mountain, reaching the summit, reaching the precipice, becoming the top of the food chain, falling off of that cliff, hitting rock bottom, you would think that a man would make the decision for the better and take his life into his own hands and decide to change the way he wants to live and nothing changed. Here we are in present day and the unchiseled Adonis is as large as he's ever been. 375 pounds on a good day, maybe 400 pounds soaking wet. So when you need to see a change in your life, you don't get on the phone with Ghostbusters. You don't call them. You get on the phone with the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual thing, chiseled Adonis to chisel the unchiseled Adonis. Three weeks later. It's finally that time. It's finally that time. Episode one of the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis. You see, he tried to duck me for two weeks. We done put out the video talking about we gonna get right into the workout. And this man try to avoid the conversation every single goddamn day. You can't duck me no more. I told him, we this weekend, what we gonna do is we gonna wake up at 7 a.m. We fixing to go to the gym. We gonna do this fit test. Can you imagine how that transpired? It's 11.17. 11 17 you know what happened this man came to the house at like 5 a.m try to dodge it so i went to the house. i went to his room at 7 a.m i see this man knocked the fuck out trying to scheme to not get to work out and so you know what i'm courteous i'm not gonna make you get up and start working out two hours of sleep so I gave you four additional hours with an extra 17 minutes. So what we fixing to do is we going upstairs, we waking the large Negro Snorlax up, we headed to the gym, and we gonna get this money. Get up, son. It's time to go. Snorlax, a sleeping Pokemon. Snorlax wakes only to eat. Snorlax has arisen. Luckily, the Poke flute was able to work. Say hello, Snorlax. Hi. So I gave him an opportunity to go and brush his teeth, take a morning shit, release said urine from his you know appendage also go and get a nice shower in and here we are going to reveal the workouts for the fit test because you know he's a little bit lazy he's like oh we don't got the car right now so i can't go to the gym what do we do it at home so we're gonna do it in the house so you know what we fixing to do you got any clue Nope. you got no clue so we doing this how much push-ups can you do in a minute how much shit ups can you do in a minute? Did I say shit ups or sit ups? Well, it's gonna look like shit because we know the brother can't do sit ups. Well, how much sit ups can you do in a minute? How many squats can you do in a minute? As my phone goes off in the background. How many pull ups can you? You know what? Maybe, maybe not the pull ups. Ain't no pull ups being done. Let's cut out the pull ups. Because if he tried to do a pull up with my iron gym, the ceiling might be coming down. It's not going to be looking good. So, and also, we fixing to see how long it's going to take them to do a mile. It's a basic fit test, straight calisthenics. And when we get done with this, starting tomorrow, because the day happened to be Sunday, we're going to start with the workout plan. Are you excited? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Let's get this money. Woo! Could you believe he had to put on gloves and a hat? and sneakers and sweats just to do something in the backyard. The man can't do nothing. T -t -t Tell him why you had to put this on. Well, my hands are cold. My feet are cold. My head, the head is cold, so I'm just cold. I want to get it out the way. And on top of that, the way my wrist is set up, it's not like the gloves are going to impact that. That's why I asked for the, the, the um, iron gym that's on the floor. 
Um, yeah. I just wanted to, to grip because my hands are not gripping anything. We came outside for 10 seconds. His hands was already cold, but I'm going to give him a special treat because he's not going to do it by himself. I'm going to do every single exercise with his big ass to show moral support. So like I said before, it's about time we head to the bank because we about to get this money. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ready? And let's go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. 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 Take your time. You still got time. Okay. You still got time. Okay. Uh-huh. You still got time. You got one. I got one. You got one. Come on. Yo, this is crazy. Don't quit. I'm not quitting. Don't quit. You still got time. Almost, almost. Don't quit. I think I got one. Don't quit. Now this it. You still got time. You still All got right. time. Twelve more seconds. Twelve more seconds. Use your knees if you got to. There you go. All right, time. So you got two. I got one full. You got one full. One. One eight. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. You almost got yourself up a couple of times. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. All right, ready? How low are we going? Huh? How low are we going? That's the grass. Ain't no quarter stones. Yeah. And then back up. Yeah, just like that. Are you ready? Right. Three, two, one, go. Halfway there. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5 more, 5, 4, 2, one at a time. All right. All right. All right. I'm fine. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Come on. As high as you can. You feel it? Halfway there. Come on. All the way up. Try to get as high as you can. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Push, push, eight, five, three, time. Ready for this mile run? I ain't running, but I'm gonna do this mile distance. Okay, so what you gonna do, you gonna jog? No. Oh, you're not even gonna try to jog? I know I'm not gonna be able to do it. If I'm a jog, I'm gonna be done after half the block. Well, guess what? That final straightaway, you're gonna be moving. I walk fast. Let's get it. Advance. Oh, oh, you're picking up some speed. All right, all right. Keep the form, though. Keep the, keep the form. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> Walk like a Grand Theft Auto character. <laughs> You know what's crazy about this whole thing? I ain't even put on no goddamn lotion. So I'm out here looking ashy. Son of a. You could light a cigarette on my legs. <laughs> ashy as hell, but we just completed block number one. Block number one done. All right. So we got two and a half more blocks to go. We are 0.3 miles um, on the way. Almost done. How you feeling? I'm all right. Ready to pick up the speed? Uh, the speed's already been picked up. All right, all right. Ooh, 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 look at the movement, look at the movement. And Shit, it's, 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 it's more of an arm swing. Starting to look a little fatigued there. Huh? Right. I'm good. Word? We're almost a block and a half in. Uh, Slowing down now. Slowing down now. Keep that same pace. Keep that same pace. Stretch it forward. He ain't even stretch, dude. Squats kind of killed my legs. That's a good thing. Oh, got a rock in the shoe. Somebody put Dwayne Johnson in his shoe. That's funny. Here we go. And you know what's great about him fixing his shoe now? Because we've entered the final lap. In fact, we're halfway through the final lap. So if this was a track, you can pretty much say we've made it to the straightaway. So he's about to have to sprint, or in his case, jog, um, to, you know, close out the entire thing. So once we hit that corner, it's going to be that time for him to hit top speed and close out the fit test the right way. Here we go. Straight away time. Put some pep in your step. Once you hit it, you can't stop till you get down the block. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Needs to chest. Okay, maybe not needs to chest. You get that high, you might just fall down. Come on. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Feel that burn. If you don't, the oven's not on. Yeet. Come on. All the way. All the way. There you go. There you go. Come on. No stop. No quit. No quit. Watch no it. No quit. I see it. I'm not blind. No quit. No quit. All the way. All the way. All the way. Almost there. All the way through the Bill Basin Pharmacy sign. Come on, few more strides. Few more strides. Few more strides. And time. Woo. How was that? Huh? I'm pooped. Do you know how long that was? How long was that? 23 minutes. Wow. Okay. By the top. Oh. 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 10 minutes over my uh, high school, first time. Mm -hmm. and how long ago was that? 2006. Well, there it is. It's been 13 years. You've added 10 minutes to your mile, or maybe 11, because you had 23. Uh, and it's been a crazy start. Uh, Wow, I'm pooped. Um, man. All right, well, that's it. Making the attempt uh, to chiseling the unchiseled Adonis. Um, this weight thing is kind of crazy. Uh, clearly, during the crunches, it was kind of killing me. Couldn't get off the floor. The squats weren't so bad. I don't know if my form was terrible or not, but I felt like it was all right. What you think? It was all right, it was okay, it wasn't too bad. And then the push-ups, I didn't feel winded off the push-ups, it's just my arms just felt so weak. And that's the first time in a long ass time where 
I guess because I haven't been really lifting with my arms and I gained so much weight, I can't handle doing all that. So I literally lift myself up once and that was it. Yeah. To get got, off the floor. You got one on your knee. Look at this murderous vehicle right here. This is the front. <laughs> so I hit your knee. That's it. ACL done. Game over. Yeah, but you remember your reps? Um, the crunches I got, I think it was 20. Mm -hmm. I think. Squats, I got 26. Mm -hmm. Push-ups, I got one and a half. Okay. Because I, I don't really count the knee one. That's a real one. Mm -hmm. And 23 minutes for the jog. When I jog with the walk, the mile walk slash a jog. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, well, we're going to be at the gym tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, you're going to meet me at the gym. Right. Or do you want to be like eat to Eric Thomas? Meet me at the beach at 6 a.m. But it wouldn't make any sense to do all that. I got stuff I got to do, obviously. You got stuff you got to do. Yeah, so go work. we go, uh, obviously. So when he's coming home from work, he's going to meet me at the gym. He's going to get his membership all signed up. And we're going to start out the entire workout. So you stay tuned for that. But today's episode is in the books. We got the fit test for the unchiseled Adonis. His numbers, the push-ups, one and a half. We'll round it up to two. Matter of fact, we're not going to do that in boost his ego he got one and a half one full by himself a couple <laughs> pumps when he couldn't get all the way up there but he got half on his knee the squats he got 26 the crunches he got 19 or 20 and 23 long prolonged minutes while he was trying to jog slash run slash walk so yeah episode one in the books parting words thanks for the support and we're gonna get this fat motherfucker, the unchiseled Adonis chiseled. Look at this goofy ass motherfucker over here. So turn, yeah, hey, look how he got the hat, bro. Tur Yo, turn, turn your head with the hat. Look at this man, son. What are you, T.I.? So tell me why we just order takeout, right? This son of a bitch is three blocks away from the house. This fat ass motherfucker right here wants to go deliver for three blocks away. You see why he's the unchilled no, adult? Is. Look at my man. Neck, son, damn. Just look at the proportion of the stomach to the, to the steering wheels, huh? Good lord. Just, oh my god. God, well, his stomach already oh, in the yeah. airbags. Why your stomach so round? Why are you roasting me right you now? You are here looking like a, a sphere, huh? Here, huh? Looking like a shape, all kinds of. What's your circumference? What's your circumference? No, you can hear the calories accumulating in his body. Huh? That's wild. He done in the back seat. Oh my God, gargantuan, elephantine, just. Let me throw your phone at you. Let's see if we, they get caught in the orbit, huh? Oh, I'm throw. Oh, 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 see, it got caught on the orbit. Well, the goal is basically in 18 months, we are going to get on Ellen. It's like the Michelin man whole body is on the back of his head. You might just be, hey, they said Pluto ain't no planet no more. That's because when, when they got rid of it, probably when you was born. Look at him, do a circle, spin around for him. Spin around for him. Spin around. You see this man built like a goddamn golem, all right? All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 there it goes. Cross on. Okay, cross on. Alright. 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 Two. Three. Four. You know, a lot of you have asked me, why haven't I gotten the unchiseled Adonis on the chiseled Adonis challenge or the one punch man workout? Well, you're doing a one punch man workout. You would have. I, I never said I was doing the one punch man workout. Alright. So, uh, you with that one punch man workout? No! No. You're not with it? No. All right. No. So you're not with the one punch man workout? No, I'm not doing that right now. All right. I'm not doing that right now. So you're not doing that um, one punch man challenge? No, nah, I'm not doing the one punch man challenge. Why not? Because I'm not ready to do that challenge yet. All right, he's still going to stay fat. You trying to do that no. one punch man No. No. You're not trying to do the one punch No, man? not right now. No. All right. Should I go on? Yo, you doing that one punch man workout? No. You're not doing it? No. no. Why? So you trying to do that one punch man workout? No. Trying to do that one punch man workout? 
slop. This is this is drool. I was just washing my teeth. No, no, I'm not doing the one punch man workout right now. So you trying to do that chiseled Adonis challenge? You trying to do that one punch man workout? Nah, not right now. All right, so you too busy watching the year failure? All right. Nah, I just clicked with it. You trying to do that uh, one punch man workout? No, not right now. Try to do that one punch man workout? No, not right now. Let's go on. You trying to do that one punch man workout? Nope. So uh, you trying to do that one punch man workout? I just came home from work, guy. All right. Yo, you trying to do that one punch man workout? Nah, I ain't gonna do that right now. So, Yo, you trying to do the one punch man workout? You already did it. No, are you trying to do it tomorrow then? No. Not... You trying to do that one punch man workout? Nah, I'm not doing that right now. All uh, right. You about to do that one punch man workout? No, not right now. Yeah. Are you doing the one punch man workout? Yeah, you're Clearly not right now, yeah, You getting on that one punch man workout? No, I'm not getting on that one punch man workout. Damn shame. Can't say I didn't try. <laughs> do it! Just do it!